driver's in, y'all. Hey everybody, it's Driver's Ed, y'all. Uh, so today, before I get into the video, I'm just gonna show this. Uh, someone did mention in the comments in my last video that they uh, really did like this robots truck. So uh, actually, I do like this too, so I didn't show this one, uh, but here it is in card. Um, the interesting thing about this one is that it is a movie. Um, so I'm not sure, so <laughs> this year, I think it's, again, these are these big cases that I don't necessarily like the packaging, uh, but um, there's a picture of the truck, so uh, I guess someone leave in the comments. Let me know if this was a real monster truck. My guess is they may have put this uh, robots theme. It's obviously a movie, uh, animated movie. Um, maybe they were trying to market it and they put it on a monster truck. So let me know if they really did make this truck or not. Uh, but yeah, I think if I'm not mistaken, I think this is the only animated movie that has made it uh as an advertisement on a monster truck so it's, it's it's very interesting i do know it's a pretty popular truck and i do like it actually the movie's a pretty good movie uh my kids my kids love it um so what you have here is the uh the protagonist so the the main character is on the front i forget his name but he's played by ewan mcgregor he, he voices him and then the bad guy so he's on the roof. Um, I think it's Greg Kinnear, if I'm not mistaken, who does the voice. Uh, but yeah, Robots the Truck. Uh, it is a really good movie. We, uh, Me and my kids, we really like the end of it. Uh, so if you watch the end of the movie, they have a, they have a great classic song. Uh, James Brown, get up off of that thing. <laughs> Uh, so my, my kids love to dance to it. There's a red robot that does the worm and uh, they love that scene. So it's a great uh, ending scene. I think that movie's just ended on a perfect note with that song. So anyway, here's the robot truck. Okay, so getting into the main reason for this video, uh, I did find some more trucks. Uh, so for July 4th, we went, uh, oh, I went to my in-laws, uh, obviously with my family, but um, uh, it was probably what 45 minutes away from our house. So uh, <laughs> while I was there or on the way uh, I checked out to see what was at the local uh, Walmart and uh, lucky for me they did have this case uh, Which is not currently in my area um, This is one of the older ones uh, case F uh, Which I never really saw in my uh, local uh, targets or Walmarts, uh, but I did find this in Walmart. It was case F uh, so here's the back of the case. Uh, this one's the popular one, the uh, uh, Oscar Mayer Wienermobile. It's got gutter, gutter growler is a new one. Hot Wheels Racing with the new uh, Navy stripe pattern. And then you got Operation Stomp. So those are the four new trucks. Uh, the returning trucks I'm not going to show uh, in this video, but Hissy Fit was released last year. Hound Hauler was released in a doubles pack last year. And then the just the normal bone shaker which is on the tour so it makes sense that they're uh re-releasing that one so uh case f so operation stomp the gutter growler and then the hot wheels racing as well as the popular one, the Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile, which everybody is excited for. Uh, also in this video, uh, this is a doubles pack. Now this is how a doubles pack should be, <laughs> in my opinion. Uh, I do know Monster, Hot Wheels Monster Trucks, uh, at the beginning of the year, they released doubles packs, which had one new truck, right? For instance, the Hot Wheels Safari. And then they had one uh, doubles or a truck that had already been released. Uh, which was the, I think it's called Wild Streak, the zebra one. Uh, so that's just an example, but they've done that a lot. Uh, but luckily uh, in the new case of the doubles packs, all these trucks are, so oh, here it is, the Hot Wheels Safari and the Wild Streak. So that was the only new one. Um, this doubles pack has already been released and this doubles pack has been released probably like four different cases, <laughs> a lot. So luckily, Luckily, they put the two new trucks 
in the same case, uh, this is how they should always do it, in my opinion. Uh, you know, I get it, it's a business. They're trying to get you to buy more trucks or <laughs> pay more money, but uh, really for the fans, you should really uh, put the new trucks in the doubles packs together. So, um, so I'm gonna review six new trucks uh, today. And basically with these uh, six trucks, I will have reviewed, uh, I currently have every Hot Wheels uh, monster truck that has been released except for case what is it G so case G I did receive two trucks from uh, Rob Clifton thanks so much I received the white black and white Mega Rex and then I did receive the Hall Y'all which was re-released again in uh, the most recent case uh, case J um, which I just you know I reviewed recently but um, out of that case, though, uh, again, uh, Radical Racer I do not have, and the Red Invader. So currently, out of all the trucks that have been released, I've, I don't have the Red Invader, and I don't have the Radical Racer. Um, and let's see, it looks like out of the 75 trucks, uh, 75 trucks that are going to be released, like you can see the number system, uh, this one is 43 out of 75. Um, out of the 75 trucks being released this year, Hot Wheels has already released, uh, what is it, 63? Yeah, 63 of them. So there's 12 remaining. Um, I kind of look at the, see what, uh, what categories are missing. Um, so out of the 12 remaining, uh, two of them are animal attacks. So truck nine and truck 10 out of 10. Uh, two of them are Crash Legends, truck four and truck five out of five. One Hot Wheels Metro, uh, truck number 10. Uh, Stealth Smashers, two of them, number four and number five out of five. And then Stunt Storm has three, so eight, nine, and 10 out of 10. So out of those, those are 10 trucks. Uh, there's two more that are gonna be re-released, re -re uh, sorry, not re-released, but released. Um, so my guess is the two trucks, if I had to guess, because they have released some trucks that don't fit into categories, they've already released, uh, for instance, like the, uh, the Star Wars trucks. They, you know, they re-released Chewbacca and Darth Vader from last year. That doesn't really fit in a category. Uh, they re-released the SpongeBob SquarePants um, and then the Marvel, is it Marvel? Yeah, two Marvel trucks, Spider-Man and Hulk. Uh, so those don't really fit in categories. So my guess is they're either gonna do more Marvel, two more Marvels, or hopefully they do two more Star Wars, which would be brand new trucks. Um, I don't, I don't know. I, the they might do like a R two D two, and then I do have the the C three PO. I can't, I can't find it, but. My hope is they do the C-3PO because they recently did the uh, VW drag bus. So C-3PO, if most of you know who have the character cars, uh, C-3PO character car is the VW drag bus. Uh, they've already done a casting in uh, Hot Wheels monster trucks. So uh, my hope and my prediction is maybe it's two Star Wars trucks and we'll see uh, uh, drag another drag bus in C-3PO. That'd be awesome. So. Um, but yeah, out of those categories, really, uh, not a lot. I mean, Animal Attack, eh, I don't, not really excited for that. Crash Legends could be really anything. Hot Wheels Metro, eh. Um, Stunt Storm, again, could be a lot of different. It could be really anything. A lot of these uh, categories for Hot Wheels Monster Trucks are very vague, uh, as you guys know, and it could be anything. Um, the Stealth Smashers, uh, number four and number five are missing. Though That's probably the most interesting category because in the Stealth Smashers, you've already had the, I guess one of them's here. Yeah, so the Operation Stomp. Um, and then you've, you've had the, um, what's that one from the last case I did? It's called the um, Special Forces, so the black, the black one. So yeah, that might be the best category uh, to come. So anyway, let's take these uh, six trucks out of the box and check them out. All right, here's the first one, uh, again, from the Stealth Smashers. Uh, I do like the uh, roll cage. They do like the edge glow. Um, it is a matte black truck, so looks pretty cool. Uh, black rims with the the shining green beadlocks, so kind of matches 
Uh, this whole scheme is kind of like a, a hacker, like computers, like hacking, I don't know, stealth operation. I, I don't know. I, you know, it's one of these concepts where it doesn't really, you know, <laughs> the designer can just pull it from anywhere. So it's, it's under the stealth smashers line. So I guess it's trying to be stealth. Uh, so yeah, just a interesting truck. Uh, nothing, nothing real exciting. I mean, this is not one of my, I mean, as far as the color scheme, I think the overall color scheme looks cool. Uh, but as far as like the actual, like what it is, operation stomp and all that, um, it's not too exciting. So yeah, I'll just be honest. Okay, so here's the Hot Wheels Racing uh, number one again. We've already seen number one. It was the white truck. Again, it was in the same cast, uh, the trophy truck body. So uh, I do like this color scheme. Uh, it changes things up. I was hoping that this would have like a different number uh, than previous, but maybe this is gonna be on the tour. I know when I saw them last year, they did have the white one on the tour, uh, the number one. So I don't know, maybe one they resume or maybe even if they had shows at the beginning of the year, maybe they, they ran this truck. I do not know. Uh, so let me know in the comments if they already ran this one. It does have a yellow windshield, uh, but uh, let's see, black rims, really white, I guess white beadlocks, nothing, uh, no, you know, nothing crazy, nothing crazy. So, uh, but I, I do like it. I think overall it's it's a pretty cool color scheme for, for being, you know, if it's a real monster truck, so. Yeah, let me know what you think about this truck. All right, so we got the gutter growler here. I actually really do like this truck. I think overall the, just the, it's like a ivory kind of, it's cause it's matte white and it's like a ivory type look to it. I mean, it's just a great looking. I just, I think the base of the truck is, is great. So uh, gutter growler on the top, it's got a sewer uh, printed on. <laughs> I think I saw one review where someone was trying to take it off. <laughs> does this, does this come off? But it's clear, it's clearly a decal. I mean, it's not even. I thought, I thought maybe it'd be three D or something because someone thought it was. Somebody thought it could come off, but it's no. It's, <laughs> it's clear, clearly a decal. Uh, on the side we have uh, sewer rats. Um, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I mean, again, I mean, Hot Wheels monster trucks, they, you know, I mean, they're, they're really at a disadvantage by not having the monster jam contract. Uh, so they have to make up, uh, you know, most of these, pretty much all of these trucks are like concepts that they came up with. But, uh, yeah, this is a very interesting concept. I think overall the execution of the truck, it looks nice. So, you know, I, I, I do like this truck. I think this is a, maybe an underrated truck at the end of the day. Maybe maybe a lot of people don't like it, but I think the overall color of it and it, you know, gutter growler on the top, I think, you know, I think it's classic. It's 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 got sewer rats and stuff, but it's it's not too cluttered. Like the potty central I feel like was too cluttered. Uh, so yeah, here's the gutter growler. And try to take this off. See if you can uh, pull that off. So <laughs> Okay, here's the one everybody likes, uh, the Oscar Mayer Wiener Mobile. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a great cast. I think they've done this in the car form, Hot Wheels has, so uh, they just updated it to be in the monster truck, and I think they did a good job of scaling it up and making this little, uh, I don't know if that's supposed to, yeah, I guess it's the bun, I guess, but it's just sitting on a flat, <laughs> it's almost like a flat bun. Uh, it's got taillights. Um, it looks like it has a grill with a little smile on it. Um, yeah, Hot Wheels monster trucks. And then it's got some squirts of, I don't know, it looks like mustard. I, I only like, there's only two things I like on my hot dog, mustard and onions. Um, so yeah, it looks like squirts of mustard. I don't, yeah, I'm not a big on ketchup uh, on a hot dog uh, for sure. So uh, let me know what you guys like on your hot dogs. But yeah, I think overall it's a, it's a great casting. Um, they did a good job. I think, I think it looks like it fits, uh, it's scaled perfectly uh, to the, the monster truck chassis. I know some trucks are not scaled that well, so uh, this overall, I, I would say this is this is definitely probably gonna be one of the best of the year uh, for Hot Wheels monster trucks. So I'm definitely glad to have it. Okay, now uh, onto the doubles packs. Uh, yeah, again, I think these trucks are great because they fit 
that, you know, they're along the same lines as the main line and they came two new ones in, in a doubles pack. Now, uh, my understanding is these two trucks are Japanese uh, mythology uh, creatures. Uh, so this is Raichu. Um, from what I, I looked up, I didn't know much about it. Uh, it's basically a lightning uh, animal, right? Uh, that could be in the shape of a cat, a fox, a weasel, uh, or even a wolf. So uh, I'm not sure exactly what. It, it definitely, you see the nose. Uh, so maybe like a, a cat. It looks more like a cat or a wolf, uh, but it does have the lightning. So it's like a lightning wolf or a lightning cat. So, uh, so yeah, they basically took the mythology. I don't know. I don't know why they came up with this or how they came up with this, but uh, they basically took this Japanese mythology and made it into a truck. Uh, so right, you. Uh, yeah, I think overall, I think the 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 body is really uh, colorful, really nice. I think the graphics look cool. Uh, I think. Uh, contrasted to the yellow uh, roll cage looks really cool um, the rims I get it well I guess I don't I would say if it was Chinese I get it but Japanese mythology see uh, in China red and gold is, is really uh, uh, common right especially for the Chinese New Year but I don't I don't know why they did the red and the, the gold beadlocks around it so I think they could have chose better like even if you made just the rims like a solid like teal like a light blue a teal blue like this I think that would look a lot better um, just a lot too much colors going on but overall I think this truck looks really cool the body is really what uh, most people look at and I think it's really done well as far as the graphics uh, pretty clear and uh, I think it captures that whole uh, lightning type cat or wolf so that's right you Okay, and this is the last one. This one was kind of harder to find. I tried to search it uh, by this name. Uh, it's, yeah, it's unknown, but I do know there's a lot of creatures in Japanese mythology. This kind of looks like a cat, and from the the stats on the back, it looks like it's the the deity of night, nighttime. So <laughs> if you guys know what this is, uh, please let me know. But yeah, overall, the color scheme, uh, I don't like it as much as the Raichu. I think this looks a lot better. Um, yeah, I don't know about this color scheme. Uh, as far as the graphics, again, it's pretty clear, uh, so it looks pretty good. Uh, SUV body, um, so a lot going on. You got the face on the back, which is, I really do like that tailgate. Uh, you got the face on the front, so overall a pretty cool truck. Uh, yeah, just glad it's new. Um, nothing real exciting though, so please let me know what you think of this. Um, so yeah, let me know. Uh, let me know what you think about KSF. Hopefully you found it. Uh, again, I just found it. The only two I'm missing so far from Hot Wheels is the Red Invader and the Radical Racer. Hopefully I'll find those soon, but yeah. Almost done, I guess, for Hot Wheels. Hot Wheels is almost done with the year, uh, which is great. My guess, I guess there'll probably be three more cases if there's uh, 12 trucks uh, missing uh, from the year. So probably three more cases to be, to be had. Uh, but yeah, definitely the... Oscar Mayer Wienermobile is the highlight. Uh, I do like the gutter growler as well. That's probably my second favorite of the case, uh, but let me know what your favorite is uh, and in the comments. So please like and subscribe, and as always, have a good week and rock on.